Today in the mail I got both my Loot Crate and my 1UP box. This is a very strange thing. I think it's the magic of February. February always seems to make everything very, very weird. So we're just going to do both of them and just revel in our unboxing. I'm Tree and this is The Shinies. Step one, a cutting implement. Step two, all the boxes. They're so beautiful. So we're gonna one up box first, just because it was smaller and green. There's no rhyme or reason to why one up boxes first, it just is. Honestly, I don't remember what either box is supposed to be. I think one of them is supposed to be play. So, excitement and surprise and extra surprise because boxes are always surprises. It's a stress ball that looks like a grenade. Considering the week I've been having, this is pretty much perfect. It says zombie strike. Global outbreak. This is really cool. <laughs> it's it, it's all squishy. <laughs> Duh. Super Crossbow Brothers. So there is um, something zombie esque this month. When with one up box, yay! I I like the fact that it's Kirby. Kirby was one of those games that I always loved. Little ball of floof that can kill things. It, it's my life goals. Cute and terrifying. <laughs> it's a wind-up toy. I love wind-up toys. I, I, I still need one of the little, you know, scary nuns that like shoot sparks. I love wind-up toys. And this one is a Walking Dead wind-up toy. Something that looks like a 1-Up Mushroom from Mario Brothers, which I need to cut it open and figure out what it is, actually, because I must know! I must know what it is! Especially because it says Sour Apple on the bottom of it, so it's always good to know what the things are. It's just cute, if nothing else. Of course, the question is, Am I actually smart enough to do this? They're candies. It's just a little container of like candies. That's really cool. I really like this. It's really cute. Now the question is, can you close it back up, tree? And uh, yes, I can. <laughs> I think it's breath spray. A really minty smelling maze. I can't decide which. And it goes on your back. So you can save the world from the zombie apocalypse and have fresh breath. It's very important, especially since every movie out of Hollywood needs a romantic subplot. Badge! So it's apocalypse this time. The what Kirby has to do with apocalypse? Apocalypses? Suddenly I find myself needing to know the plural of apocalypse? I'm not sure. And a <laughs> Zelda heart monitor sticker life thing. Wow, word. And the thing that explains the thing from uh, One Up Box. So, you know, design your own mushroom. But, yes, the thing that says the thing. Apocalypse. Okay, the, the, the thing that is like breath spray is hand sanitizer. I, okay, sure. <laughs> it smells like breath spray. All right, cool. That was weird and wild and kind of fun. And thus endeth one up box. Loot Crate, which is very, very heavy for some reason. I mean, 
it's like Christmas. You can hear what's going on in there. It's very exciting. Hopefully I'm not breaking anything. That would be my luck. <laughs> Uh, the continuing saga of if I can actually manage to not only open loot, cut open loot crate, but actually open the top. Ha, ah, I did it this time. Yay! Never happen again. It's one of those little hex bug things, which I like. I, I remember several years ago when they, they first came out, I gave one to my friend Lane. So now I have a hex bug. A design your own money. That's kind of cool. I, I, I've always wanted to, to do this and now I can without having spent specific money on it and you know, be freaked out that I'm gonna mess it up. So yay. That was probably one of the things that was making all the rat rattling. Super flight loot crate deck. Which is a hundred card version of the viral viral card game Super Fight designed exclusively for loot crate by Skybound. So okay. Game to try. Also probably the thing that was making all the noise. It's very heavy. A, mysteri a mysterious velvety pouch, which feels like dice. It feels like dice, which is cool. I always need more dice. Dice are cool. Dice. Okay, mysterious velvet pouch and dice. I wonder if they're part of the, the, the card game. Dude! They have a copy of Ready Player One in here. This is so cool. I've been wanting to read this. I'm very excited. I wanted to read it. Christina Horner has said lots of really cool things about it and thank you, Loot Crate. Books are cool. Badge. It's play. If we couldn't have guessed that at this point. Yep. That was the sound of a poster escaping a weird little random thing. And it's a Pac-Man, like, diagrammy sort of thing. So, that's probably going to Gnome, just because Gnome is a Pac-Man junkie. Which is cool. Firefly Online. Because I actually need more games in my life to keep me from doing my work or for me to feel bad that I'm not playing. Basically my entire World of Warcraft subscription. <sighs> and it's a pre-release. It's a pre-release. Mm. And it's pretty. Can't really argue with, you know, the digital loot when it's both pretty and functional. Aha, we have an explanation. The dice are a game that goes with the box. They made the box into a game this time. See? And the dice go with it. Cool. That's good on you, Loot Crate. You guys are doing really good this month. And the, the little packet that explains all the things and has your game pieces for the crate game in the back. And shiny. All the shiny. It's very exciting. It also has a little history of game controllers in it, which I think is pretty cool. When, when you've been not quite alive long enough for all of the game systems, but like 90% of them and have played most of them at one point or another, you appreciate the thing. So One Up Box and Loot Crate were like perfect crack this month, which is good because my week sucked and I'm gonna go play with my toys. Bye!
Poster, 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 poster. Mom, can you get that open?